Tesla stopped taking orders on one of their most popular vehicles. There's some really weird Mac malware going around and the most beautiful motorcycle that I've seen in my entire life. We're gonna get into all of that on this second episode of Hot News today. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna go through only the hottest tech news that we can find available to you out on the internet. So let's jump into the initial story talking about how Tesla has stopped taking orders for the entry level Model Y. This applies to their standard range trim. And the reason this is so weird is because we talked about in an episode last week about how Tesla just dropped the price on this model by $2,000 to make it more enticing for people to buy. But now as of today, you cannot purchase it anymore. It has just gone from their page. As you can see here, you can only get the dual motor long range or performance version of the car. And this is just a really weird situation. If you go on Reddit, you can see plenty of people who are getting their orders canceled for the standard range with Tesla telling them that these are just no longer in production. And it's also just really weird from the beginning because Elon Musk said that they would never make the standard range Model Y because the EPA estimate was under 250 miles, which it ended up being 244. So the fact that they were sold at all was really confusing. The fact that they then dropped the price by $2,000 and then just a few days later got rid of the car means that nobody has any idea of what the heck is going on. The Model Y is just now going to start at $49,000 and we will give you an update if Tesla decides to let us know why or how they're changing this. I think one of the key things to note here with all of this is that one of the reasons this gets talked about so much with Tesla is the fact that it's all just laid out directly on their website. The price you pay is the price you get, unlike other traditional car retailers who actually have to hide things under dealer incentives. And when they discontinue, it's not blatantly available because they just stop shipping it out to the dealership that you're gonna pick it out from. Tesla is more transparent in all of that. So it just becomes more relevant when they actively do it because you can notice it right away. And you can notice in this video of the Tesla Model S Plaid that Tesla teased over the weekend actually doesn't have the yoke steering wheel. This Plaid winter testing video, if you look very, very closely, you can actually see that the steering wheel is round, which is odd because it's supposed to be yoked like this picture. However, when you dig into the data, also on Tesla's website is an image of this. So it's incredibly confusing. You cannot purchase the Tesla Model S right now without the yoke steering wheel. Like it's just not possible. However, all of the test vehicles that have been seen and even in all of the promotional vehicles, they're showing off this normal steering wheel. So it's quite confusing. What do you think? Would you prefer the yoke steering wheel or the regular steering wheel? Let us know down below in the comments. Let's talk about Volkswagen's electric cars for a second. They've announced that they're gonna be making the ID5 electric SUV coupe later in 2021, likely will not come to the US later this year, but rather just staying in Europe. But the ID5 is just gonna continue the ID lineup for Volkswagen and continue in my heart is the the first cruiser electric motorcycle going on sale. I don't want to talk about the specs just yet. I just want to take a look at this and appreciate its beauty. That color is amazing. I love the copper right here. This hits me in all of the right areas. I'm normally not a cruiser motorcycle guy, but this just feels right in all aspects, except the price, which is going to be $115,000 for the first run of the Curtis one motorcycle. The second run is going to start at $78,000 as far as Specs, you get up to 168 kilowatts of power at peak power output of 89 kilowatts with a 16.8 kilowatt hour capacity, which seems fine. I just can't pay. That's as much as the Model S. I just can't do it but I love the way it looks, I guarantee it. But people did not like the look of this United Airlines flight over the weekend, which had a dramatic engine failure that got posted everywhere. As you can see there, one of the engines uh, with parts just completely missing. There's video from people who actually filmed straight out of the window with the engine just not looking great, just kind of like the dog in the meme. This is fine, everything's fine. And there's also pictures of the parts of the engine landing in fields and in front of people's houses. This is obviously a very big disaster. The flight landed safely. Nobody was harmed on the plane, but obviously the FAA is just gonna need to look into all of this and find out what the heck went on, which they actually did with the Starship SN9 and SN8 prototypes that actually exploded. The FAA is no longer concerned, said that they closed their investigation on these things and that everything that SpaceX did was within bounds of FAA safety. So 
totally okay to move forward, which led to Elon Musk tweeting out this, that the SN10 has a good chance of flying this week, obviously because the FAA is done investigating, but then also whether might actually make it so that they can do the SN10 test flight. And this wasn't a test flight. NASA with the Perseverance rover actually landed, did not crash, and is sending back pictures and currently sending back a video of its descent onto the Martian surface. The first color image from Perseverance, you can see right here, you can see a picture of its wheel. Perseverance is persevering throughout the solar system, and there's new malware that's persevering on Max, even though we talked about last week how there was the first malware discovered for M1 ships. This one's even stranger because they found that it's been infected on 30,000 machines, and it's constantly just pinging a server to find out does it have any new instructions, and it's been found in 153 different countries, and they don't know what it's gonna do. It's just it's just pinging the server asking, hey, you want me to do anything? And the server's like, not yet, my child. You wait your turn. And then the Max is like, hey, how about now, daddy? The server's just like, you wait, you wait. We going, we gonna do something big. And then obviously security experts are just like, what are they gonna do? What's happening right here? We're just gotta, we gotta wait and figure this out. Silver Sparrow is its name. And these won't be in silver. AirPods 3 being leaked in some images with in-ear design and a smaller case, kind of resembling what's going on with the AirPods Pro right now. You see the AirPods 3 here on the left, AirPods Pro right there. So slightly smaller in a different style case, but taking a lot of the design aesthetics from the AirPods Pro. And Twitter is taking some money aesthetics from other companies who do subscription stuff. That was a great segue. I don't know what you're talking about. Twitter is posting some job postings that are indicating that they want help with making senior software engineer backend subscriptions for their iOS app or for other things that they've got going on. So in case you don't like unpaid Twitter, maybe paid Twitter to come into you. The only, the easiest way for them to sell this is to give people an edit button. If you say $5 a month and you get an edit button plus no ads, I'm sure you would get the majority of like tech YouTubers signing up for this. So Twitter, I guess I'm not going to do it. What do you think of paid Twitter? Let me know down in the comments. And that's going to be the end of this episode of Hot News. Check out today's earlier episode right there. But in case you missed all of last week's episodes, you can check out the playlist right there full of all of them for your entire viewing pleasure. That's been it for this episode. I'll see you tomorrow. My friends, only the hottest tech news on the Internet. I'm your host, Brett. Have a good day.